they guys on their gears for changing the oil in an XR650R. Not the L model, the R model. Now to do this job, you're going to need a ratchet, 8 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, a 5 millimeter Allen wrench, some gloves, an owner's manual, oil, and a pan. Oh, and a filter. This is the one I used. Now I'm going to specify what oil to use later in this video. So we'll start by removing the oil pan. You take a five millimeter Allen head or X head, however you want to call it. Now this bike's not 100% clean, but it's clean enough to do this job. You put a pan under your engine to catch the oil and we'll be removing this 12 millimeter bolt. Then you want to come here under the header pipe. There's a 12 millimeter bolt. Now you reinstall your bolts, these sump bolts. Make sure they cr you have the right crush washers and that are, they are in good condition. You have no dirt on them. Once they're clean, you can reinstall them on the bike. You want to dispose of this oil legally. Then you want to remove these five eight millimeter bolts. You want to inspect the O-ring on this cover and make sure it's in good condition to you reuse it. If it is not, you will have to buy a new one and reinstall a new one. While you're in here, you might want to inspect your oil pump for any dirt or any bad scratching. This is your oil pump. Then the oil filter can be removed. And to make sure that all the oil is out of the bike, you want to tilt the bike upright. Then you clean the inside with a rag. You get your new oil filter. This is the part number for this one. You install the filter on the cover like so like that make sure the o-ring you know, trying to wash the camera while i'm doing this you know, make sure the o-ring is well in its groove you might want to put some gloves to do this and then you reinstall it on here So there's four small ones and one long one. The long one goes here. Then you clean up the mess you've just made. Then you want to reinstall your skid plate. All right. Put the funnel in here. 
So the Honda recommends a 20W50 or a 10W40. And it has to say API ser service SG and has to not say energy conserving. If like this, has to look like this. If you use energy conserving oil in this motorcycle, your clutches will slip and you will have a bad day. I'm using, I'm using 20W50, and as you see, it does not say energy conserving. So you want to add after changing the filter, and you don't need to change the filter every time you change the oil, 1,600 milliliters. I'm just gonna keep adding. Then take the funnel out and reinstall the dipstick. When you're filling up the oil, it might be too late, you might have already filled it. Go slowly, don't go too quickly like I did. They overflowed. So, and you want to start the bike and let it warm up until the oil is hot. So, I use it five minutes.